Want an inexpensive template that won't break the bank? Yeah! Yet still do massive amounts of damage while being able to take a beating as well? Then you're in the right place. Today we're gonna talk about Sweet Man TV's Discipline Monk build. That's right, Sweet has been ranting and raving about how awesome Discipline actually is and this monk build in general. Space Marine. I'm a Space Marine. And I gotta say, after just a little bit of testing, I'm in total agreement. I think that this build has been slept on for quite some time, and today I wanted to share with you guys just how powerful it really is. So with that guys, sit back, grab yourself a beer, and let's do some more kung fu fighting. All right guys, starting off with the template, we're gonna go with 100 anatomy. This here is gonna do multiple things. First, it's gonna increase the damage done to our target. Also, it will give us a reduction to bleed and disease damage that we take. Best of all though, it'll increase our weapon finisher chance by double what it would be normally. Arms lure at 100. With this, our chance of inflicting weapon specials is increased by 10%, which, as you guys know, is massive damage. Since we are talking about arms lore and damage, this allows us to disarm our targets as well, which will once again increase damage taken from all sources by 25%, as well as to take a 25% penalty to melee defense. For tactics, we're obviously gonna go with 100. A any template wanting to do damage with a weapon is gonna need this. Wrestling at 100. This is hands down my personal favorite weapon skill. The Marshall Manual weapon is the same stats as a War Fork, so it hits hard and hits fast. The weapon special for wrestling is that of, well, everything, meaning that it has a chance to give bleeds. A damage of time effect gives hinders, which freezes the target in place and takes more damage. Pierces, which lowers the target's armor and increases the damage done. Or cripples, which lowers the target's melee defense. As you can probably guess, the longer the monster is alive, the more wrestling does damage, making this weapon skill total fun. Chivalry at 100. Chivalry is almost a no-brainer for a Dexter template. Not only does it give you two heals, but it also has the abilities to increase your swing speed, your damage output, and even a free rune book basically to all towns, shrines, and dungeons. Plus a lot more. Parry at 80. Now we need this to go to 80, just so we can use the parry codex. And remember, with a martial manual, it counts as a two-handed weapon, therefore giving us the ability to parry without even equipping a shield. But we still technically have a free hand, so we can use pots without disarming anything as well. Let's go with healing at 80. With healing at 80, we can now res our friends, cure poison, and heal ourselves with bandages for a decent amount. Some people later in their aspect may actually reduce this down to 6 to give ourselves 120 chivalry, but Sweet strongly recommends the 80 healing over the 120 chivalry. Magic resist at 60. As you take spell damage, your damage output will increase. Also, this will make you not quite a loot pinata to mage PKs and still able to handle caster monsters with relative ease. Now let's talk about the codex. For the wrestling codex, your primary stance will be monkey, but feel free to change your stance dependent on the situation. You may be fighting multiple monsters and need to be more defensive. Pop on crab for defense or crane for healing. Maybe you're fighting multiple weaker monsters. Spider is a great choice too. Overall though, monkey will be your primary and go-to. For the finisher, Zen Strike is amazing as it will restore your health, your stamina, and mana while doing 350% damage. As far as the parry codex goes, once again, it's situational. Most would probably go with Bulwark most of the time, and that is also what Sweet recommends. For defense, it's definitely a way to go in most situations. Personally, I like Shield Bash. I just can't sit there for three seconds waiting for Bulwark to activate. I move around too much. I, I'm fidgety. That's why I typically can't play Dexer builds. But, Bulwark is definitely the way to go for this situation. For the finisher, Last Stand has a 5% chance per hit to reduce damage taken to 1. Now let's talk about the aspect. Here is the Money Maker, or Money Saver, or both. Either way, Discipline Armor really ties everything we've talked about together. First, it will increase weapon special damage. It's pretty straightforward. Then, after using mana, it will increase melee damage and give us a resistance bonus. But we're Dexers, right? So how do we use mana? Simple. By typing bracket codex hotbar, 
See this little check mark? This will automatically reset your stance in the wrestling codex using mana. Not only that, but when you reactivate a stance on the wrestling codex, you get a bonus to the activated stance. Lastly, and most definitely not leastly, this one armor gives us a chance to ignore the weapon finisher cooldown. This also works for the parry codex, increasing our damage done substantially after the monster is at 35% health giving us the ability to chain finishers over and over and over again. For the weapon, discipline once again. The weapon proc Iron Will does a decent direct damage to the monster, but also will increase our damage done as well as our damage resistance for 30 seconds. Let's talk about the mastery chain. As far as that goes, melee special chance and special damage is a big point of this build, so I'd strongly recommend to stack that up. At lower aspect, we may want to focus on some accuracy links. If we don't hit, we don't do any damage, so obviously hitting the target is very important. Swing speed links are going to be really helpful too since we aren't doing the 40,000 gold a core air aspect for this build. Melee aspect chance is fine too. The only thing is we don't want to go into a habit of proccing our melee aspect over and over because only half of it, the direct damage, is going to be used. But with that melee aspect modifier, I'll throw that one in there as an honorable mention. This will further increase the effectiveness of Iron Will and the bonuses that it provides. Typically for me personally, I don't stick very long with Dexter templates, but I do think that this one I'm gonna have a really good time with. Last time I did something with wrestling, I spent a really long time with it and I got it leveled up pretty far. So with that, thank you Sweet for introducing me to this build. I'm actually really looking forward to it and leveling up discipline and just all the fun things that come from that. I think one of the really good things about this template is that it's very easily accessible, meaning you don't need any skill scrolls unless you take the 120 chivalry. Also, discipline cores and extracts are typically really simple to get. So with that, Sweet, Thanks again, man, for the information. Look forward to playing it. Shout out to the Patreons, the channel members, and you guys for liking this video, as it not only helps me for discoverability, but it helps Outlands in general as well. Make sure and come by the live streams where we'll be playing this build, as well as, as you guys know, stealing everybody's ropes and cores that they keep into their bags, most evenings at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Other than that, guys, I'll see you next week. Pwn Star Gaming, out. Tell us, Mom.